Okay, I'm going to do a couple test episodes here to find out what I want to play next. I have three games in mind. One of them is this, is Red Faction. An early PlayStation 2 shooter came out in 2001, and it was how highly innovative, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. The others were not, uh, are Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, the Xbox version, because I don't have the PC version right now, because well, I know who has my PC version. Hey, Chris, if you're watching this, I would appreciate my PC version back. But... The third one is Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon for PlayStation 3. When the guy next to you dies before your eyes, I haven't your turn decided yet minute. what I want to play. No and really my version of this game is actually pretty messed up, so I'm worried about being able to make it all the way through this game. Someone named Eos is putting up pamphlets in the barracks, claiming that Ultor's response. I don't know if I will be able to because my uh My, video, my disc for this game was fairly messed up by the house fire that I've mentioned in the past. It's running fine right now, but that doesn't mean that it's going to let me play all the way through it, you know? But yeah, this is one of the three that I'm thinking about less playing. This is uh, heavily inspired by Total Recall, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, where he goes to Mars, and they have mines there, and the lesser people are treated like crap, and everything like that. I mean, heavily based off of that, which, if you're going to base it off of something, Total Recall's a good starting point. That's a damn good game. Second work shift has ended. Miners return I quite enjoy to Total Recall. It's a good movie. Um, cheesy by today's standards, sure, but also fairly intelligent. Uh, it's got a good plot. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm Parker. That, that your character's in this game name is Parker, and he... Uh, Silent protagonist, as I recall. I don't remember him saying anything. I want to go down into that, see what that, what's in there. But this, um, the big deal with this is, first off, it was the first game in the series. It was the first uh, FPS to incorporate. To incorporate. Uh, the dual control stick controls that we're all used to, to by today's standards, you know, where you, one thumbstick moves, the other one looks around. This was the first game to do that. Note, it wasn't Halo. It was Red Faction. This came out a couple months before Halo. I'm going to take his gun, dude. But always use more ammo. I actually prefer this to Halo, although some of the sequels to this game are kind of lackluster. I've heard Red Faction 2 and the last one weren't very good. They haven't made one in a few years. Uh, but this one's great, and Red Faction Guerrilla is great, too. This one... Uh, the big deal with this game was that they had what they called Geomod technology. And what that means is... That you could pick up objects in the environment. Or p pick up uh, explosive objects and launch them at walls and destroy the environment. And that was unheard of in 2001. It was a huge deal. It's called Geomod Technology. This was the first game to do it. And it promised... Um, some people probably would just call it false advertising because the environments weren't quite as destructive as prom promised. But you have to remember, this was 2001. Technology was not advanced anywhere near as far as it is today. Fish.
Technology wasn't advanced anywhere near as far as it is today. Uh, so... They didn't have PCs back then that could handle this. I thought there was some kind of item in here. Uh, they didn't have PCs. I mean, if you would have had fully destructible environments, even with uh, this not being the best looking game on the market, it probably would have just fucking melted people's PCs back then. So they probably, like, were reaching ahead of the tech... They were reaching ahead of the technology, really, and trying to do something that the technology really wasn't ready for, and I'm sure there were people that called them out on it, but if the technology's not there, what can you do? You know? Scum. Still, this is a good game. It's, it's got some cool level design, great controls... It's got auto targeting, which will dry, which will turn some people off, but it doesn't really bother me. Let's blow up another wall, shall we? Shield mod. Additional security this. I'm going to do test episodes of the other two games as well. Probably 15 minutes each, not a full 30 like I would do, normally do an episode. Like all of my, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my Final Fantasy Let's Play. That actually turned out to be pretty good for me. I got like seven more subscribers during that Let's Play. So that was really cool to see. And I hope you guys stick around because I'd, I'd love to, uh, converse with you guys and chat with you guys in the comments and get ideas and suggestions and whatnot from you and everything how to make my videos better and more entertaining I want to uh, <clears throat> I want my uh, hey, subscribers to be active in my videos I really do Stick with us. We're heading to the red but yeah that got me a uh, Seven more subscribers, which I guess I'm, isn't that surprising. Because Final Fantasy is kind of a big deal, and I'm going to get back to that. I'm, I've said before that I'm intending to let's play more Final Fantasy games. The next one I will let's play, and I don't know when it will be, but the next one I will let's play will be Final Fantasy 2. So you can look forward to that at some point. But for now, I'm going to be doing one, two, three things. And yes, if you're wondering, my wanting to let's play a Star Wars game is directly has everything to do with there being a... ...new Star Wars trailer. And I'm really excited for that. Because I've wanted a new... like. I'm just hoping that this movie will erase the bad taste left in my left in everyone's mouth by the prequels because because uh, I mean they're not wrong about how awful a lot of aspects of the prequels are. There's some good aspects like the fight scenes could be pretty cool and well choreographed and everything. But, oh my god, the acting and the pacing and the way overuse of CGI. and There was supposed to be a Red Faction movie a while back. I think uh, it was supposed to be done by, by the Sci-Fi Channel, and I don't know what happened to it. That would have been cool to see. Because I, I think this game has a pretty interesting story, although it's not particularly well told because the voice acting and dialogue can be pretty cheesy. It's still interesting, and it's still enjoyable. Although, the, graphically, this game has not aged well at all. I don't think it's flat out... Like, I don't think it's just flat out hideous, but it ain't pretty. What one? Honestly, this game didn't look great when it was new either. It 
You could tell that this was developed at least partially with the console in mind. I have a gun. Did you really think that was going to work? Where are you? There you are. Yeah, the Sci-Fi Channel was supposed to do a Red Fraction movie years ago, and I don't know that it ever happened. Which kind of sucks, because I was kind of excited about it. I thought that might be good. Then again, then again, who am I kidding? Shit's never good, is it? Video game movies. They're never good. Uh, that guy was going to talk to me, but I didn't stop to talk to him. Load times are pretty Load long on this. In mine M4. Security level two response required. If you want to play this game, um, it's actually on Steam. PC version of it on Steam for uh, ten bucks. Uh, I am sure that the Steam version of it looks better than this version. You can actually get the Red Faction pack, which comes with the games and all the all four games and all the DLC for all four games, which. If it's not too expensive, I would say is definitely worth it for this one. Scum. And Red Faction Gorilla. I haven't played Red Faction 2, and I've heard the last one kind of sucked. And they haven't touched the series since then. Watch this. Oh, that's fun. I don't know how you're still alive. How did you survive that? Seriously, I want to know. Go this way. There we go. He's dead. Let's go out here. Oh, that is huge. That didn't kill him, still? No, that did kill him. His dead carcass is up here with the blown up shit. There he is. Yeah, the uh, sound design for this game is still pretty darn good. The level design's decent. The gun sounds... The gun sounds are great. It's got some decent music to it. Um... Yeah, definitely recommend this game. It's good. I think it's underrated. Like, nobody... People tend to not remember this game very well when it was innovative. This came out before Halo, and it did the dual control sticks that everybody says Halo is so innovative for. Okay, that... I died. I'm gonna call it there. That should be enough recording anyway for a test episode that's 15 minutes.